Once you have a screen that looks like this, you want to click on the Media tab on the bottom left of the screen. And then to make it so you can access video files from your desktop, where hopefully you've saved the, uh, the file that we prompted you to in the handout, you right mouse click in that area up top and then Add New Location. Window will pop up. We're going to select Desktop and click Open. And then we'll click on the desktop that just appeared there and we're going to drag the GOAT video file that we downloaded into the media pool at the bottom. It asks you if you want to change the frame rate to match the other videos and say Change. And there you go. You've got your video uh, down in the media pool. Next thing you do is click on the Cut tab, which is right beside the Media Pool on the bottom. And now we click on the Media Pool button on the top left so we can see the Media Pool and we'll drag the GOAT video down into the timeline at the bottom. If you do a two-finger scroll, you can scroll back and forth through the video and look to find uh, the part that you want. Let's trim a little bit off the end of the video. I'm going to scroll right to the end and to trim off the end of the video I put my cursor right at the end and it will get these two eye bracket icons and then I click on that, hold it, drag until I get to the part where I want the video to end and let go. And that's just trimmed off a few seconds off the end of the video. Now let's say that we want to uh, trim in the or trim out part of the middle of the video or cut out. Let's say this little part with the audio here is what we want to cut out. So we get to the point at the beginning where we want to cut and I'll right mouse click on the red line and click split. Then I'll scroll, oops, then I'll scroll the over uh, to the end of the audio and then I'll right mouse click on that and I'll click split and then select that red area there and hit the delete button on my keyboard and magically it deletes that center clip. The problem we're going to have now though is if I play this video clip you'll see that it's sort of a jarring oops a jarring jump between the video clips. So what we're going to do to fix that is click the transitions tab up top here and I'm going to select and then drag cross dissolve so it's right in between the two video clips and that'll give us a nice gentle transition between the video clips. So I'll press my space bar now and it will go through the video clips. I'll press my space bar again to pause the video. It's a uh, quick easy way to pause and play videos is just clicking on your space bar. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a title to this video. So let's go to the very beginning of the video. I'm going to scroll back here. I'm going to click on the titles tab up top and I'm just going to grab and then grab a text title and put it at the beginning of the video. So you can see here we've got a text box. To edit this we need to go to the Edit tab. We're in the Cut section right now. There's the Cut tab. If we go over here this is the Edit tab. If I click on that we get into the Edit tab and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better what's going on. And I'm going to double click on the title and as you can see up here, I can edit the title here. So I'm going to put Rich's Goat Video. I'm going to put Rich's Great Goat Video. So there's my title. And we can see here what it's going to look like. Uh, if I want to roll the video, I'll just go back here, hit my space bar to hit play, and we'll see what happens. Start running. So it goes straight from the title to the video. I'm going to put a transition in there. To do that, I can go over here to Video Transitions on the left, and then I'm going to drag my Cross Dissolve over there. So if I play this again, I'm going to zoom in a bit more so we can see that transition a bit better. So if I back it up a bit and hit the space bar, you can see we get a Start running. gentle transition from the text into the GOAT video. Last thing we want to do is, or one of the last things we want to do is go to the end of the video and we'll put in some credits at the end. So I'm scrolling to the very end. Um, 
I'll go to Titles over here on the left, and here's the scroll. So I'm going to drag that and put it right at the end. If I double click on that, I get one, vote two, and human is Jillian. So um, now that I've done that, I'll click over here, I'll hit the space bar to play, and there's the Go credits. Uh, we want to get a transition again, so I'll click Video Transitions, and I'll bring the cross dissolve, and I'll drop it on there. The other thing that it might make sense to do is to center this. So if I click on the center button there, now it, we can see here that it's centered it. So I'm going to click over here to get the cursor before the transition. I'll click my space bar, and there we go. We've got centered credits. Uh, one thing that I might want to do here, the audio volume is a little high, so if you can see on the green part down here, there's a little faint line. If I put my cursor over it, I get a little up arrow, down arrow. If I click and hold, then I can drag the volume. So I'm going to drag it down to make it not quite so loud there. And then I let go and uh, go back. Oh, someone's eating raisins in their yard there. There, so that's quite a bit softer than it was before, which is what I wanted. Last thing we want to do is export this video so that uh, other people can view it. The way that we do that is click on the Cut tab here again. And then there's the Quick Export button on the top right. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to do H.624. All these settings look good, so I'll click the Export button. Uh, I want to call it Goat Video and then hit save. And that will export my goat video in just a few seconds here. There we go, it's done. Good job.